Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. We are finally recording together. This is the first time we're recording together on the video. We're a little nervous. With just ourselves. So we yeah. recorded together with Nas since we've been recording video, but this is our first time. I think. It is. Like with the video aspect. We've recorded together before just sound, but yes, yeah, so we're a bit nervous. Um, but it's okay. So what's what's going on in pop culture you guys I have some really big news like this is really big Britney Spears was spotted in person so she's alive but she was like in the middle of a manic episode oh yes so TMZ said eyewitnesses say Britney became manic yelling and talking gibberish not another language not another language just unrecognizable speech we're told Sam got visibly upset, abrupted, I can't say that word, abruptedly, abruptly, yeah, I can't say that for some reason, it's <laughs> probably my list, stood up and stormed out the door. So apparently there's a video that was obtained by TMZ, and it shows Brittany sitting alone at the table and speaking incoherently. Two minutes later, Brittany got up and left the restaurant with her bodyguard, and then he came back to pay the bill her bodyguard did where mm-hmm. were they eating like a chick-fil-a i don't know my sister just sent me screenshots please hold let me see if there's i think it was in la <clears throat> but we don't know like if it was like a nice restaurant like what was she wearing do we have pictures there's a video apparently oh yeah we should find it and share it for you guys if you haven't seen it um i knew she was alive first of all i didn't just really want you to oh she looks like a mess really want you to validate that your conspiracy theories might not always be right (laughs) listen I really thought she was dead I really did hold on there's an okay um so yeah she's not dead I do think that she's still straight up crazy like I feel bad for her I feel bad for her I do too but like homie's not okay no she's not I don't think she needs to be on a conservatorship, but Sam's for sure probably with her for her money and his status. And she's, I don't know. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't think she'll ever be well. Yeah, I'll have to share this video because there's a whole video, but she looks awful. Her hair's not brushed. She's wearing an oversized, like, gray hoodie. And she just looks, like, not showered. Does it look like Brittany when she, like, her, like right before she shaved her hair when she was like kind of with her glasses yeah kind of Ooh, that's so rough. I'll definitely share the video but I mean mm-hmm. she's alive but I wish she would just like get the help she needs like real actual help she needs to go to like you know those like places in like Arizona mm-hmm. they have one in Park City where Lindsay Lohan went yeah Lindsay Lohan is thriving yes Lindsay please send Brittany mm-hmm. your help um get her a resource whatever you did to get better send it to Brittany yeah yeah so, um I don't think I have any news in pop culture I feel like I haven't seen much I haven't either that's like the first thing I've seen in a long time hmm huh. that seems odd mm-hmm. the- oh Kanye's married oh yeah <laughs> he that, is that one it's a bit weird to me. Yeah, that is weird because he was like obsessed with Kim. So, but also everyone he dates kind of looks like Kim mm-hmm. and it's a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the only thing I saw that was like a big deal. Yeah. I I really haven't seen a lot. Like my trusty pop culture girl, not skinny, not fat, but not fat, whatever her name is. She's like on that Yellowstone train and that's oh, yeah. all she posts now. And I'm like, I've never watched a show, but yeah, I don't, I can't get on the Yellowstone train because it's too trendy. And I think there's so many episodes when seasons get too far in, I can't, it's hard I can't to sign catch up, up because then it's like, there's too much to catch up on. Mm-hmm. And so at that point, it's like, I can't commit. But the other thing that's trending is nepotism, nepotism, nepo babies. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that's yeah. interesting. I didn't know there were so many. I mean it makes sense but no one's ever like put it in your face like I used to always think like how crazy for like the celebrities that are like in our era I guess you'd call them that are like younger like I used to always think about like Will Smith Mm -hmm. like and his kids or when people started having kids I was like oh my gosh like these kids like how weird that they're thrown into it or the Kardashians kids like no matter what you're going to be set up with the easiest legacy and the easiest access to like just stay in the industry and like Mm -hmm. I guess I'd never thought about it for like the older people that I would like 
like I don't know I just never thought about it yeah me either do you think he would be famous like would you stay like if your parents were Will and Jada Smith would you stay in that industry or would you leave it I think the reason the cycle keeps happening is because it's impossible to get out of it because your parents are surrounded in it I don't think even if I wanted to do something else I the opportunities would just keep knocking Mm -hmm. and I couldn't say no Mm -hmm. because the money would be there like why would I go work in my nine to five trying to like bust my ass when you when I have people Hollywood throwing money at me you know like even if I wanted to have like a different career I don't think you can escape it when your parents are that in like intertwined with it all yeah yeah do you think yeah I think so I think it would just be weird because like I don't know if I would want to be famous like if you did like you would be Rob Kardashian basically yeah Where it's like I don't, I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be those guys, but like I can't not. But like be, it's my family name. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you just be talking shit about. Yeah, true. People do treat Rob really bad, and it's kind of sad. Like just leave him alone. He needs probably he probably needs mental help. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he dated Black China or married her. I can't remember. I don't. I think, think they, they were married. Just dated. Yeah, I don't Black think Black China is fucking crazy. She is. Also, we're a hot minute in and I just said the f-word for the first time oh my gosh good job we're making progress that's two thumbs and just kind of <laughs> said the f-word <laughs> um I'm also doing dry January I don't really know why I really don't know why I'm trying to lose weight for my wedding and <laughs> I, I don't know but I'm drinking a lime bubbly and I just really wish that there was tequila in it. So just take a minute and feel sad for me, even though I'm in a hundred percent control of my own choices. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually have been craving tequila drinks lately. I wanted to make one the other day, but it just felt sad to do that by yourself. So I didn't, um, but we're about to go on a cruise and drink a lot of tequila, but it won't be like classy tequila. It's going to be like resort <laughs> cruise ship tequila. <laughs> tequila. So like, it's fine. Um, my coworker for Christmas got me like authentic, really good Mexican tequila, like from Mexico and we need to drink it. It's... Remember when we used to record in the closet and drink tequila shots? I miss yeah, those things. We, we should, should take that again. We should record in the closet yeah, again. Yeah, that was really fun. We did take tequila shots all the time and it was really fun. Yeah, we gotta do that more. Yeah, we do. I think we went through a period of like the fact that we're just now recording video together in person doesn't make any sense to me but I think we go through a period of when we get together on the weekends we're not going to record so we can relax but I think Mm -hmm. it's made our weekends maybe not as fun I agree I agree like we almost like took all of our fun out of our lives Mm -hmm. yeah it's very strange boring um (laughs) so this episode is a reintroduction to who your hosts of champs string champs are so I am Shelby and this is Taylor hello <laughs> this is us um no but we wanted to do a like the introduction because we were like podcast planning and going through some stuff and we realized that like people that have been listening to us from the beginning know the so- like know the the whole like full circle story but people that like start listening to us they're going to start at the beginning and be like wait there's three hosts and now there's suddenly only two like what's going on so we felt like we should reintroduce ourselves and kind of give like a little like thing about that. But also we just learned how to podcast and our audio wasn't great and we were amateurs. So we're going to do a new reintroduction and uh, yeah, explain and not, our podcast, I guess. And not only that, like we listened to our first introduction episode and we both have changed so much since then too so it was time for a new reintroduction and like we don't want new people to get like a bad taste because of our amateur ways so yeah for sure um yeah so we're champs drink champs and we are best friends for what 11 years now yeah we're old no 12 12 years now because we were 21 almost 13 because we're turning 33 this year (sighs) wow we're We're making a trip when it's our 15 year anniversary that's (laughs) yeah we are (laughs) that's a milestone anniversary so we're going to Mykonos (laughs) um okay so we're best friends been best friends for a hot minute we're both leos 
So we have a lot of Leo energy and we just kept thinking it would be a great idea for us to have a podcast because our conversations in person or via text, like they're just good conversations and we just felt like we should share them with the world. So our podcast, we talk about self-development. We talk about yoga, which is this lady, soul work, definitely more this lady, (laughs) um, mental health therapy, Peloton, yeah, wine, uh, champagne, champagne. obviously (laughs) tequila, not bubbly. (laughs) Um, what else? Pop culture, Britney Spears. Yeah. Yeah. We usually do like a little bit of information about what's going on in pop culture, just because like that shit's interesting. And like, we like to break it down. Taylor talks about conspiracy theories. She used to talk about them a lot more. Hopefully she gets back to it. I know. I haven't really like, well, there's not very many floating around right now either. Maybe it's because I don't give off good conspiracy theory energy. So it's not as fun to talk about conspiracy theory energy. (laughs) I don't believe in them or witches. Go back to our LA episode if you have questions about the witches, because witches exist, Kardashians are witches. Perhaps, but perhaps not. <laughs> um, we talk about fitness, um, improving yourself. We always do a hashtag asking for a friend portion. Sometimes we share embarrassing stories when people feel free to share them with us. Um, everything's anonymous on those with, if you submit them. So like if you submit an asking for a friend, it's basically like, those moments when you're like driving in the car or like you're too embarrassed to like admit something you're like does everyone else do this am I the only one doing this or you're like uh the does everyone wear the same bra every day hashtag asking for a friend when it's like really actually you so that's like what that portion's about it sometimes is just life advice too I think Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's gotten to that like our our thing today is for sure life Life advice advice, I would say it's just basically any question that you have that you want an answer to what were those things in like school in like the newspaper like the school newspaper where you'd like submit a question like the advice column what was what they call them something ask whatever and it was like a person's Uh, name abby ask abby ask ask something i think so i actually we should change it to ask champs drink champs we should we're changing it yeah backtrack backtrack no more asking for ask <laughs> champs drink champs <laughs> yeah that's yeah. cute yeah I was actually just watching Lizzie McGuire the other day because I love Lizzie McGuire and I hate like when I'm home alone because I have ghosts in my house a lot <laughs> I have a lot and so I get like scared so I have to have like music or a tv show playing like I just can't be in a silent house so I was home alone so I just turned on like Lizzie McGuire and it was the one that Lizzie was the advice columnist and it's such a cute episode because Gordo writes her the note and says like I think I'm in love with my best friend and uh, Lizzie and Gordo forever man um sometimes when you tell me like that you were watching like <laughs> Lizzie McGuire or zombies or whatever it reminds me of when I was like a kid or like still I don't know sometimes I still actually revert back to it I think now that I'm admitting this out loud (laughs) it reminds me of when I was little and I'd be scared or had like negative energy I would sing primary songs oh my god yeah and so like I'm a child of God all the time you always like turning on like Disney type things reminds me of like that energy where it's like I feel a little uncomfortable let me go back to my like adolescence mm-hmm. peaceful things it's very so whenever true. you say that I'm like oh you were scared I was you guys I have really bad ghost activity happening in my house right now and it's really stressing me out and so I had a day off the other day and Tony was like at work and I was like hearing all these weird in the daytime sounds. yes it my ghosts don't only come at night they come all throughout the day that mine are only like early morning hours dark so no my ghosts are like partying all day long so I was hearing like all these weird creepy like noises and I was like I can't be in this quiet house right now that's stressful that makes sense though yeah um so yeah that's that's our podcast is there anything else about our podcast I think the biggest reason why we wanted to start a podcast was so like maybe the conversations we have could spark something in you to have those types of conversations with people in your life yeah or also to just like feel like you have a friend because I think society and social media and like so many things make us think that we're alone in our struggles that we 
I don't know that you don't talk about them. And like, we talk about hard stuff. We mm-hmm. go through hard stuff and we like support each other and girls are fucking mean. Like yeah. girls are the meanest people out there. And mm-hmm. we just want a space where people can feel like, like we're always open to being your friend. We'll be kind to you. We won't judge you. We want to help you. And we realize that like, we, there's not a lot of people out there that do that and like neither of us really had that until we had each other where Mm -hmm. it was like a safe place you're always gonna like have a safe place to like be honest and open and get help and support and we want that to be our podcast for you um we are on youtube everyone watching us hello um subscribe to us because it's very hard to find us because we're still very new and there's that other podcast called Just Drink Champs, and they overtake everything. Yeah, so if you search <laughs> us, it's really hard. But if you go to our Instagram on our link tree, it has a link straight to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us because it's easier to find us that way. Um, if you like to watch our YouTube channel, shout out to you because I've actually gotten more into that lately. I watch a lot more of my podcast. I like seeing my podcast hosts, I guess, I'm host it sounded like I said hose <laughs> podcast hose we could be um, podcast hose we are <laughs> um yeah I like to see them it just like makes me feel like I'm in the room with them I guess so subscribe to us so you can find us we're on Instagram most of the time we're working to be better at that we have a Facebook and we have a Facebook like page I guess they're called like a almost like a fan page yeah. I guess you could call it yeah where everything you like that really is like at some point I hope people start engaging there a lot of podcasts I listen to there's like a little Facebook group I guess they're Mm -hmm. called maybe yeah and people just like get to know each other and like talk about the conversations and topics and things there and like I hope that that happens at some Mm -hmm. point for people if not it's there yeah take it for what it is and I just started a TikTok for us still trying to figure it out I am not I don't know how you kids or I guess they're probably not kids listening, but how <laughs> the kids whoever's kids. listening's kids can function on TikTok and with all those things because making videos is hard. But follow us on there because I'm going to figure it out. And yeah, it's yeah. just Champs Drink Champs podcast, I think. I haven't, I don't think I follow us. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just made it a few days ago. So, um, so yeah, that's our podcast. We're mostly on Instagram. That's the best way mm-hmm. to like communicate with us. Best way to keep up with us. Um, we love chatting with our listeners. So stay tuned on Instagram and watch us on YouTube. Yes. Um, is there anything else about our podcast? I don't think so. That is it. Now Taylor's going to introduce <laughs> who Taylor is. Um, Sweating. I know. I am a little nervous. So now. uncomfortable. I was just telling Shelby, like, with introduction stuff, I have to just wing it because if I write it down, I, like, overthink everything. So, anyways, like Shelby said, I teach yoga. Yoga is, like, probably my biggest passion. Um, in that yoga umbrella, it includes meditation and breath work. I'm 500-hour trained, 300 hours in um, trauma-informed yoga. So yes, mental health is very important to me. I am a medical assistant. I work at a ketamine clinic and an orthopedic office. What is an orthopedic office? People might not. Oh yeah. Orthopedic office is like bones and joints. So like if you need like a total. Drink your milk. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. If you need like a knee replace or a hip replace or. I don't know if you like tore your meniscus in your knee or something like that in orthopedic office is where you would go. So that job is not very exciting. Um, me and my coworker joke that we're like glorified paper pushers because we don't really get to use our skills, but I work in a really great office and have really great coworkers and work for a really great doctor. Um, but yeah, and then the ketamine clinic is like, I just kind of give shots and offer assistance and I teach yoga there. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I was going to school. I am not anymore. So I don't know what my career is going to be. So you have a career. Yeah, Stop I have a career. Like your job isn't your career. <laughs> but I don't know if it's what I want to do forever. So if you've been listening for a long time, you've probably heard my whole up and down with school. Um, yeah, I'm no longer going to school to be an elementary school teacher. So 
that's kind of where I'm at. I'm getting married in September. Um, Halloween slash gothic wedding. <laughs> so it's bones. <laughs> There's yeah, bones. That's why I work in an orthopedic <laughs> office. I was just gonna say that. Oh my bones to your wedding. <laughs> Gosh, all right. Um, so yeah, getting married in September, very exciting. Me and my I hate the word fiance, so I will never say that. Um, me and my ex-husband technically got back together. We've been back together for seven years. We did leave one. I love how you my ex-husband I know. powder powder my nose. Um <laughs> powder my nose. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. My nose just really itched. But um the one episode we did leave back because I did not want to record it. If you do listen to that, it is about Tony and I's relationship. There is three hosts in that. So it might just be oh, a little I forgot to mention that. Yeah, we did going back to about our podcast, we did have another host. Um, she just had some really big life changes. She's no longer with us, obviously. Um, so yeah, if you do go back and listen to that episode, it's the only old episode that we left. There are three different voices in there. So that's probably confusing. Yes. If you didn't know the background. <laughs> and if you listen, I think there's a couple other ones that we left that were just us still recording, but we still had three hosts mm-hmm. at that time. Um, if we re- reference anyone named Kalei, she was our third host at the time. Um, but there were some episodes that were just us that we left because they were our birthday episodes and we're fucking Leos. And we don't get rid of birthday things. No, <laughs> absolutely not. So um, yeah, I totally fucking forgot. It's all right. Did you remember until no, just now? Just, okay, just now I, I remember. remember. No, I, I just remember. Um, yeah, so we used to have three hosts. Now we have two. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yes. Um, anyway, so yeah, Tony and I are getting married in September. And as for other things that I enjoy, I love Disney. Um huge Disney free. You live in Logan. Yeah. I live in Logan. Cash Valley is how she calls it. Yeah. I think that's like the elite way to say you live in Logan. I don't know. Well, there's just like, I you just like keep shifting. I, I know. used to say I live in Logan and I like Cash Valley and I'm like, well, is technically, there's a Cash Valley cheese. Like what the no, fuck? Technically I do <laughs> live in North Logan, but if there's anywhere outside of North Logan or Logan proper, it's called like people up there call it Cash Valley because there's so many like little towns up there. So instead of like, oh, this is in Nippoli, this is in Hiram, like, oh, this is up in Cash Valley. So I live actually in North Logan, but in Cash Valley. It's like, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, that was like a weird transition. Yeah. You just like started doing it one day and I was like, weird okay I know it's I, I guess I just kind of got used to it up there they yeah probably say that yeah that's morning. how they say it because you used to be like I live in Logan mm-hmm. I did this in Logan and then mm-hmm. it was not that anymore yeah yeah so oh um, we're also in Utah yeah yeah <laughs> um I love to paddleboard I love to be at the lake I love to drink wine normally yeah normally I am very sad about it um What else? I love to travel. We both love to travel. I'm an Enneagram seven and a Leo. My birthday's August 17th. Don't forget. (laughs) I don't know what else there is about me. I don't know. I don't think there's anything you forgot. I feel like I'm pretty funny. So there's that. Just kidding. (laughs) Farts don't bother me. Okay. No, I do have the humor of a 12 year old boy. So Things that I think are funny, Shelby does not. Like, my favorite show is South Park. You probably Let hate South Park. Up. She also loves ASMR. I do love and ASMR. Her sounds. alter ego is Miss Macaroni. <laughs> you can catch that on also the LA episode. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that you're very, like, I think you're, like, a holistic type person. I wouldn't say you're granola. No. But you cross that line sometimes of like being a little like witchy. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am going to a womb healing ceremony yeah, tomorrow funny. and I'm very excited to share about it. That's tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. Very she excited. She sent me the invitation and I declined. Yeah. One day I'll get you there. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I do have to know though, do you enjoy South Park? I have watched it. I've watched some episodes of it. I wouldn't just actively watch it on my own. I would never watch it now that I'm a mom. Really? Or like my kids around. Um, 
but I think that's why you still have like a humor of a 12 year old is like what you call it I think mm-hmm. the reason that you still have the ability to engage in those types of things and find them funny is because you don't have kids once you have kids I think you don't like even if I wanted to watch it I couldn't watch it and so then once I do watch it and now I have kids I'm like oh my god like this is actually like your brain just has this different mentality of like how corrupt things can be because you think of the innocence of your children yeah true I could see that I'm such a holy mom (laughs) (laughs) Send me the seagull book. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think there's like, there's some funniness to it. I just wouldn't actively go watch it either. Makes sense. Makes sense. And like, if you had it on at your house and like my kids weren't there, I wouldn't, I would just probably watch it. But like, <laughs> if my kids were there, I'd be like, we gotta change the channel. Like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm already causing trauma in her child. It's fine yeah um yeah I don't think there's anything else about you besides that you drive a Prius oh yeah I do drive a Prius <laughs> I'm actually maybe not gonna be driving a Prius get? why I don't know why are you just now telling me this well because I was like wedding planning is so much you guys like it's a lot it's a, it's a lot nine. I know I haven't gotten to my introduction <sighs> um anyway so I was like kind of looking over our finances and stuff and I was just like my car payment's too expensive for what I have like you know so I was just like I kind of and I'm sick of it like it's been almost five years wow so I just I need something new so I think we're gonna go look like in the spring so I may have a new Prius I you going with another Prius I may the new ones are really nice and I do like Prius having like a Prius cool. yeah they're like a rocket ship yeah like the, it's nice because I do get amazing gas mileage but I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. But for right now, I do drive a Prius. Well, you should definitely look at CarMax because that was the best car buying experience I have literally ever had. And they have so many options all over the freaking world. And you can just have whatever kind of car shipped to you. And like the price that you see is basically the price you're going to get. You don't have to haggle. And they're really great. And it's not like they're not over market. That makes me, I'm going to have to do that because shopping for cars causes me severe anxiety. Well, that's how I used to be because like, you just get fucked. And like, I feel like I don't want to say no. And so like, and then you I get really, with yeah. Them, like, oh, well this, yeah. yeah. Like CarMax is straight up like, I'm sure they're obviously going to profit off of it, but mm-hmm. it's not like the same kind of profiting. Like I used to have a friend that worked in a car dealership and sold cars and they would get around and joke about how much they would fuck people over. That's so mean. Because they just like know how much they're making off of these cars. <sighs> that's and like, mean. I don't know. I don't, that's not CarMax. No. Me. Yeah. So, well, good to know. There. Good to know. And they have like their website. Just You could search any type of car, ship it to you. Phenomenal. Tesla, I'm coming for you, baby. They have Teslas. Teslas. I've actually looked at some. I want a Tesla so bad. I kind of do too, but I also kind of don't because like heard some weird stuff like I think Ashley Tisdale's Tesla like the battery like started blowing up while she was driving there's been some that have had that happen oh my god you know but you know what our friend Lois has a Tesla and she showed me that you can change a setting when you turn on your blinker it makes farting sounds you can make it so funny under certain people's chairs I would so do that every time you got in my car. My 17-year-old son thinks that's the funniest shit ever. He wishes he had that. I, I, Jaden, same, same. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, okay. My name is Shelby. I am a mom, obviously, because I already disclosed that I have children. I have two children. I have a seven-year-old and a 17-year-old. I did not get pregnant in high school. Let me start there because I'm only 32 right now (laughs) um my 17 year old is my technically nephew but he's my son we adopted him when he was 11 so I had a one-year-old and a 10-year-old and it was a lot my life's been fucking wild parenting is fucking wild um I'm a working mom obviously love my career just got a new job it's super badass um I'm actually super fucking successful professionally but I'll never tell you that outside of this one time 
Um, I, re- I think that's the first time I've ever yeah heard you I'm say like that. actually a pretty big badass but <laughs> it's fine um now I'm sweating you should play into that uh, part of you more. I need to but so I work um my 17 year old is almost 18 and that's a bit weird that's so gonna, weird that's gonna be strange I think this bedroom that's right over here is probably gonna be a guest room it'll turn into my bedroom literally <laughs> So that's a weird phase that I'm in. Uh, parenting has been probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I would not recommend it to probably most people. <laughs> Unless you know you want children, I would say no. Um, <laughs> it's like drugs. Say no to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I love cheese. Uh, in high school slash, no, I wasn't even in high school. I was probably like middle school. My hotmail was cheese plug with a Z underscore oh seven at hotmail.com. So if you ever hear me reference cheese plug underscore oh seven, that would be me. <laughs> um, cheese is my favorite food. I love wine more than fucking most things. Um, and more than fucking most things. <laughs> <laughs> I also really love champagne, but I don't, we don't actually drink like champagne. We drink Prosecco, which is actually wine. So yeah, but I do love champagne um which is so funny if you really think about it like everyone says that like oh let's drink champagne we're all drinking sparkling wine yeah so that's funny to me (laughs) um our podcast is based on a lie (laughs) (laughs) but it doesn't sound like sparkling wine that's so many like syllables and prosecco should just be champagne it's true it's um i plan to have a vineyard one day because that's how much i love wine i have a monthly wine night it's basically like networking, girls night, whatever you want it to be for yourself. But I want it to just be a space where people can bring wine, taste wine that they have never tasted, stop drinking shitty wine because you're better than that. And yeah, I like to paddleboard as well. I'm a Leo as well. My birthday is August 6th. Don't forget. National holiday. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the sun so much so much I could sit in it all day long I just recently started using sunscreen that's a new development I used to not because I just wanted to be tan um I rewear my socks you probably will not hear that episode because it's now off of (laughs) it's now off of the list of episodes because of our host situation but an asking for a friend was about rewearing socks, and I do rewear my socks. <sighs> yeah, and I do not. But you rewear your bra. Yes, your tits sweat more than your feet. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, there's I guess something, you're there's right. something. I guess you're right. There's something to the bra thing for women and jeans, honestly. Yeah. I don't rewear my socks or my underwear, just throwing that out there. I live in West Jordan, Utah, which is basically a suburb of Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I am obsessed with traveling. I travel probably more than I should, but that's not a problem because I deserve it. We're happy. Okay. And I plan to have a bunch of Airbnbs in multiple locations so that I can vacation there whenever I fucking want. And what else anything else about me you're an enneagram one um an enneagram one which mm-hmm. is partially why i'm a bit of like a dickish energy um i do have big dick energy most of the time i lost it for a while but i think it's back yeah um i'm a very blunt person i say things like to the point straight up to your face ain't scared i'm not scared i don't have to go to church either <laughs> Boot up <laughs> That's actually Ice Cube, Snoop what? Dogg, and You're in that. No, he's not. Are you sure? I am a thousand percent positive. I thought Ludo was. I was it. obsessed with that song in high school. I thought Ludo was. In it. It's Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, it, it's if you're a scared motherfucker, go to church, right? I, don't know. I thought Luda was maybe it was just the two of them, but no, Luda's not in that. <sighs> I think okay, maybe I'm questioning myself know. now, but I'm like 99% sure he's not. I don't have the trait of obsessing over who sings songs. <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> but I think Luda was in it, he might not be. I don't think he is. Um, what else about me? Anything else? 
I don't think so. That's me in a nutshell. You're married. Oh, I'm married. I have a husband. Then they've been, they're little high school sweethearts ish. Ish. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, we celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary two years ago now. Mm -hmm. We so brought 25 oh, one people year. to Mexico. It was last year, one year ago. One and a well, half years. Technically, it was 20, two, 20, one and a half years. Yeah. 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 Year and a half ago. Um, in Mexico, we had like 25 people. It was a freaking great time. Taylor and I are really good at planning. Mostly I'm really good at planning the situation. <laughs> Taylor's very supportive in that. She doesn't help with the planning very much. I'm not Taylor's a planner. Not a plan I'm she, not a planner. Enneagram sevens don't plan shit. They don't know how. No. If she starts planning, it's wildly <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> when she sent me an email recently, it was like, look at me planning things. I was so overwhelmed. I still have barely read the email. <laughs> I read it and I was like, who are you? I don't plan things. Are these I... plans real? Because I can't take you seriously no, right now. I will show up. I will support during the planning process. I will show up and make sure people stay having a good time. Yes, Taylor is very mm -hmm. supportive. Taylor shows up. Taylor's on board for the activities, but she's down for whatever you want to plan. So <laughs> I'm really good at planning really good joint vacations. Just Vacation don't have a bad energy. Parties. Oh yeah, I love to host. That's mm -hmm. the thing. I love mm -hmm. to host. I'll host a themed party. You need a birthday party. I will get you all the decorations you need. You have to pay for them, but I will do it. Yes. I don't do that. <laughs> I think that's why we have a good balance. Though. Yeah. Yeah. You're like really good at like, yeah, I'm fucking down. And I'm like, great. I'll make it happen. Yeah. This wedding. Do you want me to be your wedding planner? That's why I'm so overwhelmed. Maybe. Wedding. Maybe. I used to want to be a wedding planner. That movie wedding planner uh-huh with JLo I was like I'm gonna be a wedding planner I used to want to be a oh my god I need to be a wedding planner you can take it can all. I? yeah please oh my god I just got a new job I literally last can night was like in champagne and wine yeah prosecco and wine I thought you were gonna say money I was like um <laughs> bitch I don't have any extra funds oh my god I really want to do this no you really can because I was looking over myself yeah. last night and I was like holy shit I'm so overwhelmed in my spare time once I'm a like fucking badass and I have Airbnbs everywhere and I'm just like being able to live my life however I want to I will also be a party planner that's what I want to be for sure yeah I could definitely see I probably you. won't ever actually do that let's be honest I thrive too much in like the business environment but I will, like a side yeah hustle. my hobby mm -hmm. is just I'll be an event planner yeah I could definitely I see that out. I'm so excited I have so many questions yeah, take it over, please. I'm over it. I'm over it. Does Tony allow this behavior? Is Tony going to accept me as his wedding? Partner? Of course. He's probably sick of me stressing about things that don't need to be stressed about. Well, he's technically, he's an Enneagram 9. He's technically supposed to be the same Enneagram as me, so he should want to plan it. But I don't think he's, I think he's a 9. Yeah. It's like my husband. He says he's a Leo. Technically, his birthday's in Leo season. He's a fucking cancer. Yeah, not a Leo. No I Leo to, energy I have at all. to say it quiet because he might hear me and he gets upset, but he is straight up a cancer. Um, And can we just talk about the fact that Tony and Wally haven't stopped talking for like an hour and a half? Tony was supposed to go to Sports and Warehouse and walk around alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're weird. Anyways, I think that's us. I mean, I would say a nutshell, but that wasn't really a nutshell. So what, what is a nutshell? Like, you know, <laughs> no, I know what a nutshell I is. I know, but you know, like at Texas Roadhouse, how you get those peanuts and you crack them up and there's peanuts in there, right? That's a nutshell. So it's like, you know how peanuts Weird, are peanut? small? Yeah. Like walnuts aren't small and they're in a nutshell. That's basically us in a nutshell, like at Texas Roadhouse being thrown on the floor. Nuts. I think there's bigger nuts and we're the bigger nuts. Probably walnuts. <laughs> I have nothing to say. To that. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I don't think so. Um, asking for a friend? Yeah. Asking. Oh, asking. <clears throat> Dear champ, strange champs. That's how we're fucking yeah. saying that from now on. Take that hashtag out of here. <laughs> Dear. Dear champ, strange champs. When I'm insecure, I start judging people so harshly. How can I stop doing this? 
that is such a dear champ street that is question. that is a good question too would you like to go first you should because i have a lot to say um let me read it again just get my thoughts together okay i mean just don't be an asshole is basically what I would say is you never know what people are going through behind closed doors. Even people that are so open and vulnerable, like the two of us, you still don't know things that are going on behind the scenes. And when you're an asshole, you can make people's situations worse. So just don't be an asshole. I don't think there's very many people that enjoy an asshole Mm -hmm. sexually or personally. I think people sexually do I think enjoy sexually it. Sexually, people are fucking dirty. <laughs> your dick's gonna be dirty, and your finger. <laughs> um, for real though, we should have mentioned we're a bit crude. I I should have mentioned I say the f word a lot, and I'm really working on swearing less on the podcast. Um. <laughs> anyways, no, I fully agree. I think that when I actually, Taylor and I were texting about something very similar to this the other day. And A, you need a safe space if you're going to be judging, like if you're going to be judging harshly like that, even if it's in your head or if you're saying it to like a friend, like we're all, we are all screenshotting something and sending it to people. And if you're doing that a lot and then following up with like something very critical, I think that alone says why are you following that person to begin with? Or why are you even talking to that person? Like you probably should have boundaries or just not have negative energy. Mm -hmm. Um, But we have a new thing where it's like, we're just not going to do it. Like, we're not going to do that. And unless you really need to vent, you have to say like, I just need to vent for a second because everyone needs to do that. And that's acceptable. But if it's happening too much, like I want her to call me out and I want to call her out and be like, bitch, get your fucking head in the game. You know, that mm-hmm. high school musical song. Get your, get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, like, I truly believe that if you are doing that, it says more about who you are as a person and less about that other person. And if you are judging them that harshly, like, why? Mm-hmm. Like, what what is that like are you insecure do you wish you had their life do you did they hurt you like there's more to the story of why you're doing it so harshly and I think it's better to stop before you ever send it to anybody else or before you like continue down the path of like in your head judging them and just like stop and be like why am I judging them why does this make me insecure why does this upset me why does this like what other word could you use like I make me mad? uncomfortable yeah sometimes it makes you mad like mm-hmm. uncomfortable like this is weird like before you go down that path stop and like be like why am I upset mm-hmm. and then think more about the why you're having that reaction than why that person posted something or did something because maybe it's actually not that bad that they're doing that and maybe it's like cool that they have that confidence or cool that they're like sharing their life like I don't know we're all doing it we're all judging people it's 1000 fucking percent facts you're lying to yourself if you are saying Say you don't, don't do that yeah. but it's okay to do it every now and then in a safe space and if you're actually just like I don't know yeah if it's affecting who you are as a person that you need to like dive into that Mm -hmm, for sure. And if you're putting yourself in situations, either seeing the person or people or whatever it is that's making you insecure, whether it's on social media or in real life or whatever it may be, or stop putting yourself in the situation. If you're able to, like, if you follow them on Instagram and they make you insecure, yeah. Click on follow or mute their stuff or whatever it's called, hide their stuff. Like if you don't want them to know that you unfollow, like there's no reason we're all judging. Yes. But there's no reason to do it to a negative unhealthy space. Like Mm -hmm. There's people, like, I have so many close family members that I don't even have on social media because, A, I know they're judging me because they're insecure and dickish, and B, when I see their stuff, it instantly gives me this annoying, like, I'm only looking at this to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in that, 
you shouldn't be following these people. Like that's a terrible energy. You will never reach your highest self and your best self if you're doing these things. Yeah, I totally agree. But it is hard. Like we're all like, like mm-hmm. I said, we're all doing it. We all go through it. I most of the like, I only talk to Taylor about anything that I would be doing with it. And I'm trying really hard this year to re frame things in my head I think I already have gotten to a place where I'm pretty good at it but Mm -hmm. sometimes like family can piss you off or someone at work could piss you off or your husband can piss you off like I think a while ago actually we Taylor and I like hit a point where we're like I'm not going to get together with people and talk negatively about my spouse because it was like every every time we had a girls night it was like People. let's bash on our husbands the whole yeah time. and like yeah. we I don't think we really wanted to or needed to but because that was the energy we would mm-hmm. and then I'd be like I, why did I even see that I didn't even like I would like dig in the depths of hell <laughs> to find something to bitch about just so I felt like he I could fit in on me. yeah and it's like why you put yourself in that situation because I'm not insecure in my relationship like yeah why put yourself in that situation negative Mm -hmm. like if you're judging and you're being negative it's just time to fix it Mm -hmm. you know like we've all done it we've all been there we continue to do it it is human it is normal if you're going to do it make sure it's with someone that's safe that's going to not then share that with other people because that's a big thing and don't just show up and be negative if you're going to show up and be negative don't come or if you're only talking about negative things like don't be there. fix yourself don't show up. like you <laughs> that was something I would have said no. I'm so proud of you <laughs> but like for real like you there's more going on within you and yeah I think that's the bottom line is if this is something that you're going through right now there's something going on within you that you need to fix yeah negative so. energy is 99% because of how you are reacting or what you're feeling and maybe 1% about the other people yeah for sure and other people shouldn't trigger you like that if they are you don't fucking even like them so unsubscribe yeah I agree end of story <laughs> that's it yeah so I think that's our episode um for right now reintroduction thank you guys so much for being here we're so happy for all the new listeners that we've gotten make sure you're following us on instagram we're at champs drink champs podcast on tiktok i'll post the link on tiktok on our instagram because i don't remember what i made the name um find us on youtube we'll also post that link and please like rate review share with a friend all of those fun things that you do with podcasts because we are so happy that you're here and we want to continue doing this but we do need support to continue to do it so one thousand percent so next time we record we'll be on a cruise so have fun in snowy you no. <laughs> you're recording by yourself i know i said next time we record oh, i was like no you're recording no Whoa. No, next time we record together, we'll be on a boat in the sun in Mexico while you all are in snowy Mexico. Snowy so, Utah. Snowy Utah. <laughs> People are all over the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's spiraling. <laughs> next week, you're going to hear straight from Just Taylor, or maybe she'll have a surprise guest. We don't know. She does have ghosts. Um, oh my God, that would be so fucking scary. Oh my God, stop. I almost just threw up. <laughs> um, I, I almost threw up the bubble. I will be MIA next week. And then after that, you guys will hear from us. We'll be on a cruise and it's going to be great. Yeah. So we're happy you guys are here. We love you all. Have a good week. We'll talk to you next week. Peace out, bitches. Bye. Oh my God. And you will be dry January. And I will be dry January on our next recording. That is good news. I'm going to stop this. Stop.